Torta Paradiso. This is what we will be preparing today. Ciao everybody, Caterina here. Welcome to my home. Well, in a couple of days, my husband and I will be attending a Jack and Jill shower. You can imagine my husband's thrill. I'm going to be preparing two desserts. The first will be Torta Paradiso. This is a wonderful cake. You can cut it into little squares and a hit on the sweet table. The second sweet I'll be preparing is Savoyardi, Lady Fingers. This is wonderful in tiramisu and trifles, or the way I love them, just the way they are, delicious with the coffee. Now let's get started. For wonderful results, you need all your ingredients at room temperature. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. To begin by preparing the sugar, one and a half cups of granulated sugar, zest of one lemon, and I'm going to give this a really nice blitz because I want the oils from the lemon to incorporate with the sugar. Mm, so fragrant. Our sugar is ready, we're going to set it aside. I'm going to begin by whipping up six egg whites. So to stop the machine for a second, a pinch of kosher salt. The frothing of the egg whites. Now, gradually, I'm just going to add a little bit of the sugar, the sugar that was infused with the lemon. A little bit at a time. This cake, it is so delicious. I'm going to stop the machine to add a teaspoon of vanilla bean extract. I can eyeball, eyeball it. I'm going to begin adding the six egg yolks, one at a time. There's nothing like a wood-burning fireplace, and thanks to my sweet papa, I have two of them. I absolutely love it. And if you're thinking about putting one in your home, you will never regret it. And the last one. Final wet ingredient, three quarter cup of melted and cooled unsalted butter. I'm just going to stream it in, that's it. We can begin with the uh, dry ingredients. Two half cups of all purpose flour, cup of cornstarch, one and a half tablespoons of baking powder. Scald the dry ingredients together until well combined. At this point, we're going to switch from a whisk to a paddle. Important tip, set your machine to stir and don't go over because it's very important that you don't over mix this batter. I'm going to sift the flour mixture inside the batter like this approximately a cup at a time I'm going to let the machine stir this is the second cup that I'm doing I'm just going to continue doing it the same way until the complete flour mixture is in the batter Finish mixing your batter by hand just want to make sure that it's all incorporated evenly I prepared my pan earlier. It is 9 by 12. It was parchment paper, sprayed and bench floured it again. So my pan is ready. We're ready to transfer the batter to the pan. I preheated oven for 25 to 30 minutes. Once the toothpick comes out clean, you know it's ready. Oh, my torta paradiso baked for 30 minutes. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I couldn't be more pleased. And I'm going to say it if you can only smell my kitchen. Transfer the torta paradiso to a cooling rack and set it aside. In the meantime, we're going to start with the filling. We're going to begin by preparing the filling. It's so delicious. Two and a quarter cup of whipping cream. One cup of sweetened and condensed milk. A lot of people don't realize, but Condensed milk is Italian. 
one tablespoon of icing sugar and we're going to give this a really good whipping. A teaspoon of vanilla bean extract. The cream is ready for our cake. Slice the cake in half and now I'm adding the cream to one side. Not all the way to the end because when you put that on top it will go down to the end. The extra cream I'm going to serve it on the side with the cake. I just want to show you how it's going to look. We're going to dust it off with icing sugar. How pretty is that? Refrigerator for two hours to set. Now to serve this wonderful cake what I'm going to do once I arrive at the shower is cut it in small squares and place them on serving plates. Taste it for you. I'm just going to cut a little square. Look how gorgeous. Mmm. So fresh and light. Absolutely delicious. This will satisfy everybody. Mm. So good. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. And it's Katerina from my home to yours. Don't forget to hit your like button. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel and share my recipes. Oh my goodness. Mmm. So good. <laughs>